So you might be trying to go ahead and loop a video on your, your iPhone. Now what does this mean? Well, it could mean a couple of things. If you're trying to loop a video, basically when the video is done on your iPhone, it'll go back to the beginning so it just keeps looping over and over again. There's no way to kind of do that with a video on your f iPhone stock natively like in the Photos application. If you want to convert it to a GIF, you can go and do it that way. That way it will convert. Another option is to actually upload that video onto an application like YouTube in which you're watching right now. And then after uploading the video, YouTube has a loop option and you can loop the video from there indefinitely. So if that's kind of what you're looking for, and that is honestly the only thing you're going to have to do. It is kind of annoying. A lot of other phones have the ability of looping it. But if you're referring to the video, you want to just, you know, copy a video over and over again for a couple of times. But well, we can do that natively within the iMovie application. You want to go ahead and search up the iMovie application. So you probably already have it installed on your iPhone. If you don't, you can always install it. It's a free application. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and create a new project. So in this case, I'm going to go back into my main project. This is something probably what you're going to see as soon as you open up the application. You want to go and click on movie and you want to go and bring in the movies that you want to go ahead and loop or the videos in this case. So in this case, let's say I want to go ahead and loop a small little video. Let's say I just want to loop a small screen recording. Let's say this one, right? What I can do is I can go and click here and you will see that I have my video right here. Well, if I wanted to loop this video over and over again, what I can do is I can just click here. I can go ahead and basically click duplicate, which is right here. And that will duplicate the same exact video over and over and over again. Now, like I said, it does take up a lot of memory depending on how long you want to do this for. But if you don't want to create a GIF and if you don't want to do another way, this is probably the only way you can continue to loop a video over and over again on your specific device. So whenever you're done, whenever you're done duplicating the video as many times as you want to, what you can do there is you can go ahead and click done, which is right on the top left corner. You can then go ahead and click the share button that's on the bottom corner, not bottom corner, just the bottom right here. You can go and click save video. And from there, that video will now be saved onto your specific device. And that is pretty much all you're going to have to do there. So from my perspective, it seems like this is the, probably one of the better ways to go and do it. Again, if you want to loop it natively, I mean, you can go ahead and, like I said, go onto YouTube and put it that way. But that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.